This video is brought to you by Dorothy, who came here even though we're celebrating her birthday. Thank you and I appreciate you. And I will make it up to you one day by borrowing you a pink Jeep. So, shoot, I said that on camera. She's gonna hold that against me. Woo, I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Paper Tiger. If you're new here, my name is Stephen. And welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Wow. Da, 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 da. Yo, we got a GTR. Wait, you can hear him. There he is! Whoa. Yo, what? Bro. <laughs> you can hear the turbos from here. <laughs> wow! Bro. Wow. He's got cool wheels, yeah. Look at the ducktail, carbon ducktail there. Nice. Alright, welcome back to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center for this. We are going to that. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pittsburgh International Auto Show. Oh, wow. That is clean. <laughs> Yo. Lambo doors. Oh, the rapid blue looks amazing, dude. Paint matched the paint matched uh, engine on there. That is awesome. They've also painted the carbon. Oh my gosh, that's that is hilarious. I haven't upgraded the wheels. I figured they would have. Oh, well, they took the badge off. That's weird. That looks really weird now. Oh, Colby, look! It's got lights on the inside of the grill. The C8. Oh wow. Oh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, look at this one. This one's just on the ground. Look at the tint on it. It's like a mirror. That is not safe at all. Is somebody in there? Uh, I mean, for all I know, there could be. I guess if you like this car, go follow this guy on Instagram. A Gladiator Mojave. I love Gladiators. People talk smack about Gladiators all the time, but I love them. Look at the orange accents. Oh, wow. Color matched wheels. I don't think those are factory, but wow. What is this? I've never seen anything like this. 1940 Oldsmobile Series 60. Oh, these stripes. That's I like the horn. stripes. Is the horn is right up there. You see them? <laughs> Look at this texture. Bro, how do you get texture like this? Oh wow. This is a Mustang. But it's got, look at the paint on it. It's got a really weird texture. Look at that. That's not sparkly, it's just bumpy. That is so weird. That is so weird. I love it though. It's cool. Bro, there's a helicopter in here. We are for our fun. Fun, fun time for family. Sounds fun. Do I get to fly the helicopter? You can. <laughs> really? There's this option. Let's go check what we have. Go ahead. Left foot in for you. No, right foot in for you. Switch seats with your brother, buddy. There you go. There you go. Hey. What do you think? This is awesome. All right, welcome to the blackout tinting area. I follow both these guys on Instagram, so I'm gonna tag them on screen. I mean that SOC and Pro Rides. Oh, I have not seen that car in so long. Oh, it looks so sick. You remember that was the first Aventador that I ever got to see in person. So I like that car quite a lot. Dude, that is awesome. And Josh's GT4. Holy cow, this thing looks so good no matter where this car goes the color always pops i love it and of course we got horsepower obsessed zr1 the car is so sick another gt500 Ooh. Oh. carol shall be racing yo look at this is it the ff nope no, this is an 812 super fast. Inside sources tell me it's super, super fast. Yeah, dude. 
812 super fast. I've never seen one of these before, actually. This is pretty cool. All the front engine Ferraris kind of blend together in my mind, though. I can never get like 812 and the California straight. It took me forever just to figure out which was different between the 360 and the F430. Dude, the red on the interior looks so good. I love this car. Oh, what's up, guys? Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main exhibit. This place. I don't know if it has an official name. Another Maverick. I kind of like these little trucks. I might buy one when I'm older. There's no engine. All right, where's the engine at, Ange? The engine's at the back seat. Oh yeah? Technically, you are correct. Nice job. Is that what I think it is? What? It's the new Ford Lightning. Yo. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so weird. There's no engine. Yeah. An all electric F 150 named after the legend Harry Lightning. Holy cow. The Lightning badge has changed a little bit. Dude, this thing is so cool. It kind of reminds me of Dad's truck with a silver color. Ooh, that's different though. The stripe there. Companies think this stripe is so cool. Yeah, I'm alright with it. I like these lights. I like it. They look kind of weird on camera though. The truck looks nice on the inside too. It's got the same screen as the Mach E, which not sure how I feel about that, but. Dude, I like this truck. This is so cool to see it in person. I should really be focused on all the amazing new cars around here, but dude, whatever with that. The Model T Ambulance. This thing is strange. Huh, totally not subliminal messaging. The EQS, oh my gosh, look at these wheels. What? They look like five spokes whenever you first look at them, and it turns out they're actually ten spokes. Well, this is definitely all electric. <laughs> oh, the door handles. Oh, that is cool. I like that. Well, as disappointed as I am that they don't have a Veloster N here, this will have to do. Oh, wow. They put a pretty big engine in this guy. I kind of like the new end line. Hey man, I call after you. Ooh, the wing. A launcher end. The wing looks pretty good. It's got some little paddles. That's really cool. You guys watching the electric cars? Dude, the new lightning. Yeah. Oh, there goes the Mach E. Ready and go. Oh my gosh, that's a pickup truck, dude. That should not be going that fast. Wow. Dude, that's a pickup truck. That's insane. Oh. It's so quick. It's like you can see the whole car like lurch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pickup truck, man. Dude, 
literal T-Rex cannot accelerate that fast. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Now I want to see a TRX versus Lightning matchup. Street speed, get on top of that, please. It's an F-Sport, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's an F-Sport. Wow. Look at the paint. Is this... This is factory paint. What? Is it factory Is it purple? Well, don't touch it. This needs the wheels, the road. Everything on this car is just so track focused. Look at the top of the car. It's completely carbon. Carbon wing with an Afron. Oh, that is... Nice. Yeah, this is an RCF. This thing is sick. Carbon diffuser and everything. I like this. There goes the mach -E again. A carbon hood? This thing comes with a carbon hood from the factory. That is so very, very sick. This is, this is from Lexus too. Carbon hood. Are you kidding me, dude? This thing is so cool. Six. This one's 106. Gosh. 106. You mean as in $106,000? What was that lady saying? Dude, blue carbon. Oh my goodness. The paddles, the paddles. This, it, it's a Lexus, so of course it comes with this clock. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. These seats, these seats are really comfy, but they also just like, they hold you like an actual track car would. Like, this is a luxury car that's built for the track and it is so very, very weird. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like some sicko broke these things off and probably took them home any oh my gosh he broke off that too it's a hundred thousand dollar car for pete's sake dude you just wanted a piece of this car i guess that is not how you do it you go out and buy the whole stinking car get it it's a miata it's a miata i love how you can just sit in cars here and nobody really cares Maybe they unscrewed that beforehand so no one would steal it. Hopefully. Hopefully. This one doesn't have paddles. I figured it would have paddles. This is nice. It'd probably feel a lot smaller if the roof was down, but right now it feels very nice. Pretty open. I like it. I like this car. One eternity later. <sighs> well, looks like we're gonna have to do this by hand. Ugh. So, uh, that is not all of the stuff that we saw while we were at the show. I am splitting this video into two parts because otherwise it would be a half hour long and you guys would be very bored and fall asleep and I don't want that and that'd be sad. And yeah, those are all the good reasons that I have. Anyway, um, I do want to give a massive thank you to all of the vendors that were there at the show. You guys were all super chill. Thank you guys for bringing out your cars and uh, letting me sit in them. That was awesome. And of course, I have to give a big thank you to my sister Dorothy, who, even though we were celebrating her birthday, decided to go to the show with me. That was very nice of you, and she's the one who made this video possible. So, love you, Dory. I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of you as well. Thank you guys for 120 subscribers. You guys are just insane. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for part two coming out next week. And I will see you all again in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye.